Hi everybody, it's Crystal. I hope everybody is doing well today and staying safe. So, you guys want, let, we'll do a yarn video today. So, uh, I got some mystery boxes from Mary Maxim. Haven't bought any from them in a little while. I, well, and um, people on my Facebook page, some have been posting some really good ones from Mary Maxim and some have been posting some not so good ones. So, I thought I'd take my chance and see what I get. Are you guys ready? And who doesn't love a good mystery? Now, Mary Ma Mary Maxim's mystery boxes are twenty nine ninety nine. You never know what you're gonna get, but I can almost guarantee if you buy more than one, it's probably gonna be the same. Maybe a little different, but usually they're the same. I did buy more than one though, <laughs> and um, I'd say eighty percent of the time they're pretty good, and sometimes they're just okay. Um, and I did have a 20% off coupon code. You can always find those on Google. If you just type in Mary Maxim coupon code, there's always a 20% are available. Um, so that made it a little cheaper. Let's see what we get. I'm excited. I like mystery boxes a lot. I don't remember how many I got. Okay. <clears throat> so... I got, oh, it looks like three of them. So, they always come packed in this nice bag here. People like to keep, you know, Afghans and their projects and whatnot in these type of bags. Nice, but let's look at the yarn and see what we got in it. Oh, man, this is like cool blue. It's like a blue bag almost. Blue bag. Okay, I got one Patlin Shetland Chunky. I like this yarn. It's a pretty color. The uh, Shetland uh, Chunky, I'm sorry, is uh, 75 acrylic, 25 wool, 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 136 meters or 148 yards, and made in Turkey. So the Chunky weight is a bulky 5. It's a nice bulky 5. I like that. It is twisted, as you can see. This is, since it's a bulky 148 yards, that would probably make a basic beanie. Um, says machine, you can wash it, but lay it flat to dry. I like that one. It's scarfable. Nice. Okay, I got a lot of this mellow spun. I like this mellow spun. It's really soft. And the color that I got this time is very beautiful. It's like a bluish, bluish, I don't know what color blue you would call that. Um, Petro? I don't know. <laughs> it's like a bluish green, but more blue, to, more blue than green. Not really teal though. Now the uh, Mellow Spun DK, Ultra Mellow Spun DK, it's 50 grams, one and a three quarters ounces, 70 acrylic, 30 nylon, 174 yards, 160 meters, made in Turkey. So it is a DK, which is a lightweight number three. I think it's very soft. I've always thought the Mellow Spun was very soft. It's just a little bit lightweight for my liking. I think that's a great, great, like dead on lightweight three. That's nice. So I got a lot, quite a few of those one two, three, four, five, six, eight of those wowzers. Okay. Then I got some Bernat Handicraft or cotton. This is great kitchen cotton. When I say kitchen cotton, I mean like, I don't find my, this is a personal opinion. I don't find Bernat Handicrafter to be soft enough to make an article of clothing out of um, or uh, anything like that. But I find it to work well for things that you would use in the kitchen, like wash rags or dish rags, you know, pot holders, um, you know, things of that of that sort uh, would be great for face, you know, it's, it's good enough for face grubby. Um, I just don't think I, you know, I wouldn't want to wear a piece, like a shirt made out of it, I don't think. I mean, it's okay if you do, but I mean, I personally don't they use it for kitchen things. I guess that make if that makes sense. Anyways, um, I can't find no info on it. You know, I've been kind of in my like a don't know what's going on mood today. You guys ever have those? Like I'm living on cloud nine today. <laughs> I think I'm on cloud ninety nine today. I'm way out there. Okay, it's a me. I'm just I'm just kidding. Medium weight number four. Um, 1.5 ounces, 42.5 grams, 71 yards, 65 meters, 
uh, 100% cotton. So 75 or 71 yards of a medium weight number four. I have two of them. They're not the same color, but um, you know, I could get a wash rag probably out of each of those if I used a basic stitch, which is fine. Okay, then I got a bunch of Caron. A bunch of Caron. I like Caron. Caron Simply Soft. I was just saying the other day that I asked in my uh, feed what was a yarn that you liked but you haven't used in a long time. And mine was Caron Simply Soft. I like Caron Simply Soft. I just not have used it in a very long time. Well, maybe this is a sign. This is their Marled. I love that red. It's very, very beautiful. It's marled with red, um, a very light tan, and a white. You see that? Um, and it feels just like Caron Simply Soft if you've ever felt that before. It's scarfable. I've made lots and I have lots and lots of tutorials, especially my older ones, that I've used uh, Caron Simply Soft for. Um, this is a medium weight number four machine washable and dryable 240 yards 219 meters five ounces or 141 grams i like to count i got four of those so that's enough there that i can make something you know 240 yards to say i got almost a thousand yards there wow mary maxim and not only that i got oh this red is called um, Harvest Red Marl. I like it. Not only that, I got four of the blues, too. That blue is gorgeous. I love this red, but generally I would choose the red over the blue, but I like that blue. That's like a very, it's got navy blue in it, and then like a royal blue, and then marled with white. That's pretty. Wow, that's a nice mystery bag. Oh, and you also get patterns, which I can't really, I can't read or write a pattern so i always save these and then i'll put them in, in giveaways or whatnot oh look at that pretty some of them are knit some of them are crocheted but beautiful but i, I always save all the patterns i get in mystery boxes and give them away that was a nice bag i think don't you guys think so i got uh four of the blue caron simply softs four of the red that's eight balls of caron simply soft that in itself is probably worth what they paid for if you're paying retail for Caron Simply Soft. And then I got eight balls of the Mellow Spawn, so that's 16. And then I got two balls of the Handicrafter. That's 18. Oh no, they gave me an odd number. In one patents chunky. I like it. I think that's a nice mystery bag. I'm very happy with it. Well worth the money if you ask me. I would definitely... Uh, that's a good one. So, um, yeah, like I said, I see some people on my Facebook page getting, uh, some were bad, not that good. And then some people had some really nice ones. I'm very happy with this. Um, I like that one. So I got two more. Actually, there's one on the bottom. It's different. This one looks like it could possibly be the same as what I just showed you. And if it is, I'm not going to open it up. Okay. So let me open it up. Man, you never know. There could be something shoved in there that's different. You never know. So I did get another of the patents in the same color. Now, which is nice, though, because now I can add it to the other one. And um, if I want to make a hat, I can add a more, more um, textured stitch to it. I'd have enough. Ooh, eight of these again in a bag all together. Nice. And again, yeah, I got two of the same color cotton. So I could add those together and make a bigger wash yard. And then I got... <laughs> Uh, four of the red marl carons and four of the blue. So I got plenty of those to make something nice. I'm very happy with these two mystery bags. I think that was well worth $29.99, but I did get 20% off of that. So when everybody, anybody asks me, I got one more here though. It's, it's a different than these. Um, where's the best place to get a mystery box? That's a really hard to say, but I always tell them Mary Maxim because as many mystery bags that I've bought, I've gotten more good ones than bad ones. And I think that in, in always being able to find a coupon code for 20% off, I think they give a decent amount of yarn for the price. Now, I can't guarantee that you're always going to get a good one. But I can say more often than not, you'll get a good one than, than not. So that's all who I always recommend. Alright, this one's different. Let's see what's in it. 
It's got different patterns in it. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's got some different stuff in it, all right? Oh, Lion Brain Yarnado. I remember this stuff. I haven't seen this in a long time. Let's see. I'm going to open this up and look at it. I remember when they came out with this. It's from Lion Brain Yarnado. It feels good. So it's a nice, soft acrylic yarn. It's 100% acrylic, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 187 yards, or 170 meters. Medium weight number four, machine washable and dryable. I remember they called it Yarnado because the colors were always named after like weather events. So this one is called Hurricane. Um, and these are all three the same color. They're just wound different. So I got three of them in the Hurricane color at 187 yards. Nice. And it does feel really good. It kind of feels like an anti-peeling acrylic. It's nice and soft. And then, oh, I got more. Is this the same color? I got six of the Hurricane at 187 yards. So that is plenty for me. Um, six. Oh, yeah, to make something, you know, anything I could ever want to make. I don't do big blankets very often. So, yes, amazing. Although I am big on color control. Those would have to be color control for me to use them. <laughs> If you don't know what color control is, it means that you place the colors where you want them. I can't have stripes ending in one color in my projects, like in the middle. I don't know. I got a video on how to do it in case you want it. So I got six of those Yarnados. Nice. Here's some more patterns. They're different ones than what I got in the last one. So a bunch of them there. Four or five. Let's see what else we got here. I got some Karen Party yarn. I like the Karen Party yarn. I don't really have too much of I actually have one ball one ball of this brown I see it on my shelf party yarn Caron simply soft party so it's Caron simply soft with uh, silver in it or metallic in it it's three ounces 85 grams 164 yards or 150 meters medium weight number four machine washable and dryable 99 acrylic one metallic I like it so yeah, it feels just like Caron Simply Soft, except for it's sparkly. You can't see that sparkle in it. Or see it. You can't feel it in there. So it just feels like Caron Simply Soft. This is, is probably a taupe chocolate sparkle. Yeah, it's like a taupe color. I like that. So I got two of those. Nice, nice. I got some uh, Lion Brand Flicka. Now, this is identical. It's the exact same yarn as their Comfy Cotton. It's just in skein form instead of cake form um with less yardage so um but yeah it's the exact same same colors and everything they just had cakes uh which the comfy cotton is cakes and this is actually skein they just gave it a different name i like comfy cotton and i like the flicker um it's 3.5 ounces 100 grams 196 yards or 179 meters they classify this as a lightweight three. I always thought, though, that the comfy cotton was more like a four. Or in between a three and a four. A little thicker of a three. Um, a 50 cotton and 50 polyester. Nice. Cloud nine. That's the color that this one is. So I got two of those. And it says two will make a scarf. Well, what What's the yardage on here? Oh my gosh. Two would make me a hat and a scarf. I could do it with two. That's nice. I like that, too. Um, let's see what else we got here. Ooh, not a fan of these. Not a fan of these. Only because they're small. They're pretty, though. This is the Red Hot Crook Egg. It's 1.5 ounces, 45 grams, 239 yards, 219 meters. It's a one weight. So it's super thin, super small. And they, though these are the same color, so just wound differently. Yeah, it's really thin. It's uh, 92 cotton, 5 polyester, and 3% other, which would be the shiny. Now, if this was, like, thick, I'd like it. I just can't use that thin stuff. But it's pretty. Like that. Okay, I got two more in here. I got two of their uh, Mary Maxim Prism yarn. Prism. Not prison. Prism. Prism. This is their chunky one that they have. I've gotten this in quite a few mystery bags over the time um fix 
which the label came on I'm done there all right this is the prism chunky um, it's the roving style there as you could see it's a fluffy type of yarn it's like six weight there um, it's a very beautiful color I like the colors in it rain shower that's the color name okay so it's 100% acrylic 60 yards number six weight hand wash lay flat made in turkey 100 grams 3.5 ounces all right so i got two of those so at 60 yards each i can make a hat out of that for sure since it's such a thick yarn but roving style isn't for everybody because it's that one ply you see i love roving though it's my favorite so i got two of those for this so this mystery bag i got the six yarn natos which i really like those because i had not seen them in for so long i remember when they first came out i had they had the, such pretty colors in the yarn nato that's nice i like that so six of those two can parties two of the comfy cotton or the flickers same as the comfy cotton two of the jumbo uh, prisms and two of the croquet I like this mystery bag too I think I like the others a little better but I'm not disappointed in this one I'm super excited to see that yarnado because like I said it's been so long to see it it's like brings back memories of when they first brought it out years ago and uh, several years ago anyways I guess not like not like not like 10 years ago now but several years ago and I, I remember getting all the colors and showing it on my channel and this brought back a little nostalgia i love nostalgia so yes this is a nice bag as well i'm not disappointed in it at all i i love it all i'm not a fan of that thin stuff but you know i'm sure someone will use that but i love everything else is nice i think i actually no i don't have any of that but yes these were the prize there's a lot of the yarn up in here that's they were both both bags all three bags actually the two that were same and the one that was different were, were worth the $29.99 as it stands but I did get the 20% off too and it was definitely worth that um so I had a good time I hope that you did too very happy with these mystery bags remember if you've ever been inclined to ask me what my favorite mystery bag is I've opened a lot of mystery bags lots and lots and I think other than bag of day of course I mean I've heard that she has the best mystery boxes when she has them. I don't know. I've never tried one. <laughs> but Mary Maximum would be my first choice. But like I said, it's a it's a hit and a miss. But most of the time it's a hit with them. So that's why I choose them. You get a good um, amount of, of value yarn for your money. Um, you know, like big box store yarn. You don't get like Nora or nothing. But you get a lot of big box store yarn for your money. So that's why I always will choose them as probably my favorite mystery bag uh, company. So thanks everybody for watching. 18 minutes in. I'm going to go. Enough of bag o day today, right? I'll see you guys on my next video, whatever that might be. Stay safe. Bye guys.